energy reading with me. I am Hayley from Pleiadian Mystique and um, I just wanted to let you know that my website is now up and running so if you'd like to book a personal reading you can go to Pleiadian Mystique forward slash shop and purchase your reading and I'm also selling other products and oracle cards now so I'll put the link, link in the description so check that out if you haven't already and if um you haven't watched any of my readings before this is a you versus them scenario so you can flip the characters around you don't necessarily also have to be in the taurus energy to resonate with this video it's just the energy in this particular moment there's also no time frame so you can watch this at any time all right um sorry my bracelet just got caught okay whoops my bracelet just got caught around my wrist awkwardly that's weird okay so i will be picking the first card now so what is the current situation with taurus what is happening in your life taurus okay so something didn't get off to a um a, it was like a false start and i feel like something that should have been your new beginning um, has been delayed. I feel like your new beginning has been delayed. So I feel like you had a connection with someone and it was very strong and romantic possibly or you had a new business opportunity and whatever it was with this new beginning, um, there's been some sort of setback or delay that wasn't actually caused by you. It was caused by external factors. So what I'm getting here is a sense of... Um, I feel like you need to surrender it to the universe, Taurus, because I feel like it's creating a lot of fear and it's also creating a lot of doubt. But I feel like if if this is meant for you, the universe and the divine will send it to you. <sighs> if someone's heart was created for you, then it's yours. So I feel like you just need to not worry or stress about the current situation and the delay or if it's a job you know what we, we're exactly where we're meant to be at any given moment so we just need to fully trust and surrender to the universe and the divine and just have as much faith as we possibly can during times like this that's what i'm getting so what is this in relation to what what situation is it about oh yeah it's really caused um you to really feel low like you're at rock bottom like this person this new opportunity it's what you really wanted and it's causing a lot of heartbreak is what i'm getting um it's causing a lot of pain it's causing a low vibration as well um so you're really disheartened and sad that you don't have this new beginning with this particular person what else am I sensing here? I feel like these delays have really worn you down. Like you've been misguided and misled by a number of different people to places and situations that just haven't served your highest good. And you're constantly having to clean up the mess that you've created. And I feel like a lot of other people are being involved here and interfering with this particular connection you have. So I feel like it's not actually your fault. There's been a lot of meddling and um, that's what's causing these delays. All right, so I'll get another card just to see what the advice is um, in terms of the delays that, you know, you're currently facing. Hmm. Um, so you're currently having to balance spirituality and practicality. So I feel like um, it's a time for you to use your spiritual brain and your logical brain. So balancing spirituality and practicality is all about, you know, finding the middle ground of why, what is causing these delays. Now, if it's a spiritual, um, you know, relationship or a spiritual connection um, the delays could be something out of your control so you know there could be um, you know other influences that aren't very positive in your life 
and connections and other people that are causing you to feel at rock bottom. And if it's a spiritual connection, then you really need to be on the right vibration to receive um, the abundance that you want. And you've got to be the best version of yourself. So I feel like um, you're making very practical decisions in this connection when you sh and you're not learning your lesson here. And I feel like that's why you've reached rock bottom because the cycle just keeps repeating because you're not changing your direction I feel like you really need to um, make different choices and choose a new direction in the way that you're approaching this particular connection that's what's coming through so what is the energy of the other person that you're um, in this connection with what is their energy So the other person is very intuitive, but they're currently not listening to their intuition. Um, they're currently, they're currently not following their intuition. I feel like they're maybe stuck in a little bit of fear, um, and they're not using their logic. They're not using their spiritual brain and their emotions. They're using their logical brain. So the other person might be quite spiritual. So I'm feeling like if you're dealing with a high priestess here. And she is very spiritual. So I have a feminine energy coming through with the high priestess. It doesn't necessarily have to be. It could just be someone who has very um, psychic, intuitive senses. So I feel like this person um, has a lot of protection spiritually. And they're very wise and very gifted. And we have, um, you know, messengers behind them. So I feel like they receive a lot of information. They're like a, div a divine channel. Um, but I feel like the delays are actually causing this person not to trust their intui intuition. And I feel like they're getting quite anxious at this point in time because they're just like, why hasn't this happened? And this situ this card is two and twos are about coming together. And it also looks like an 11 on this particular deck and 11s are about harmony and unity. And I feel like this del these delays have caused disharmony within the other person. Um, and maybe they feel like you're not following your intuition or maybe they feel like their intuition is wrong because things haven't um, manifested in the physical just yet. But I'll find out what um, they're not listening their intuition about. Hmm. About the connection you have and about how sparks were flying. Um, I'm actually really getting from this card that they're actually a little bit sad and they're kind of focusing like a violin song, like a really, you know when you play the violin and it's really sad? Um, I just feel like this person's like, we had a beautiful connection, why haven't we come together yet? And they're just like very sad that the connection hasn't um, gone the way that they anticipated or, in, or expected with the two of you guys is what um, is coming through. Now... Um, sorry. So sparks were flying when the two of you met and I feel like this person has been patiently waiting for you to return and sevens are about spiritual lessons. So this is a very spiritual bond that the two of you share here with a lot of, um, spiritual cards coming out and I'm sensing that, you know, in this particular connection that, yeah, people just aren't, um, Listening to their hearts and listening to what, you know, the universe is telling them. Because it probably defies all logic, the connection. And, um, sorry, I just had to grab something. Um, and the fact that, um, you guys have been apart for a really long time, I feel like that's what's causing you not to trust and have faith in the process. Um, but what I'm sensing is that there definitely is some sort of like higher power involved. So yeah, this person is, um, normally a very clear channel and receives the, um, messages from the universe really well and they're very optimistic and hopeful, but something is causing them to doubt their gifts. Um, so basically um, this person is just doubting that their, their gifts are even real because they just haven't seen 
any action from you or communication. But I think it's because you hit rock bottom and you don't really know how to approach them. Um, but I'll get a clarifier. What is the clarifier over here for this situation and this person? Mm. So, what I'm sensing from this is this person's intuition is telling them that um, you're going to come back and give this other person rather than take from them and restore the balance. But this person hasn't seen any action from you and it hasn't manifested into the physical yet. So what I'm sensing from this particular combination of cards is there's a person that you're connected with and we've got three feminines on here. So this is a beautiful feminine energy. She is um, very intuitive, very empathic, very psychic, very spiritual, very balanced but I feel like this has caused her to not be balanced within herself. So normally she is quite balanced, but I'm getting in this situation. There's sparked a lot of doubt in her logical mind um, about the connection. And also she's just doubting um, her faith a little bit too much and not trusting. So I feel like the person you're connecting with, Taurus, the feminine here, has a lot of trust issues. And the fact that maybe... Um, you were at rock bottom and you didn't act in the highest possible good for this connection. It um, definitely caused some delays in this situation. And there might have been other delays that were out of your control um, behind the scenes in the other realms from other, you know, powers or spirits um, or other entities is what I'm getting because this is such a spiritual connection. I feel like the two of you have a very strong, beautiful love. Like the love here is very deep and I feel like um, when you are gifted with a love that powerful um, you're going to have a lot of power and I'm sensing that um, due to this you haven't had your new beginning yet because of the amount of power that you're going to come into you're being number one tested by the universe your faith is being tested your commitments being tested but I also feel like there is interference from other forces here that are um that aren't, you know, wanting the two of you to come together. So you need to be aware of that. And um, maybe you need to, you know, focus more on meditating um, and giving to yourself because I feel like you need to turn this upside down and get back into your feelings and feel more positive. <sighs> emotions excuse me I'm quite tired I'm doing readings at night and I um yeah I don't normally do them at night so this is very interesting energy to be in um so basically that's what's happening for you Taurus so I'm gonna grab one more card what's the advice here um in terms of what is what is your intuition telling you let's find out what your intuition is telling you actually I already got that spark card and I know that that. So let's find out what you're thinking, feminine, um, and what what is causing you to ignore the intuition that you're not listening to. Yeah, so your intuition is telling you that you guys are going to, well, that was the first question I asked. You guys are going to have this relationship that this person is your person, your ten of pentacles, you have a creative spark, they're going to be your long-term partner. But um, they haven't invested in you, is what I'm getting, because this is a card about investment. Um, so from this particular card, I'm getting intuitively that you haven't received anything from this person in terms of what the universe promised you. So um, you're really doubting things right now and you're doubting it's going to progress. And yeah, you're feeling quite disappointed, I feel, Taurus. So what is causing you to feel this way? Yeah, you feel left out in the cold by this person. You feel like they haven't invested much time with you. They haven't um 
they haven't, you know, put in much effort. All your energy went into this previously and I feel as though that you've like kind of put it into their court, the bull. And I feel like since you um, did that, you kind of haven't really heard from this person. There hasn't been much communication and you're just at the mercy of the divine right now thinking, well, my intuition told me that this person was my long-term partner, but everything else is showing me um, that this person isn't willing to give back to me. They're only willing to take. So maybe my intuition isn't correct. So what action are you going to take, um, Taurus, about this? Are you going to, you know, what action do you want to take? What is going to be one of the actions you take? Okay, so you previously seeing this as a missed opportunity um, is what I'm feeling. So um, I feel like the Taurus um, in the scenario, this is the feminine, the Taurus was the masculine, um, Not, but it doesn't have to be gender specific. I feel like that particular energy is seeing you as a missed opportunity. So there could be hope for the future here. I'm going to take this over into the extended and see what comes through um, and see, you know, how this spiritual connection pans out. All right, guys, um, just click the link below if you want to take this over to the extended with me. I'm going to find out why the masculine sees this as a missed opportunity, what their feelings are in the current situation and what the potential outcome is moving forward and exactly what's causing this feminine to be in a, a state of anxiety and fear and not actually um, following her intuition or doubting her intuition um, and what's causing these issues. All right. I hope you guys have a lovely day. And if you don't follow me over there, I will see you on YouTube very soon. Bye.